All right, guys, they, they really brought in the heat on this one, man. They actually made it like a thousand times harder compared to night one and two that I did in the last video. But yeah, if I missed the last one, um, there's one dude who goes through the vents. There's an animatronic who appears at the table, so he's got to turn the lights off when they both appear. You cannot stop them on the camera. They're always going to come up towards you. You also have a meter for panic. If it goes too high, you have three pills to take. The higher the panic, the more your cursor moves on the mouse, so it's going to be really hard to like actually move around. And you only got three, so there were times where I was made to like night five, and I would die because I ran out of pills and the cursor would just mess up everywhere. Girl was going in full panic mode, bro. So I like I like to say is that I tried my best. And if the lady right here, she has a music playing all the time. Think of her as like the marionette for Final Fantasy 2. There's a music that plays for her. Always around it and play it again when it stops. Sometimes it'll glitch out and stop very quickly, so you gotta pay attention to it. But as long as that music's playing, she's not gonna move. And there is also one guy, treat him as spring trap. He basically just has to play like an audio at certain cameras to get him away from you. And that's pretty much it. He's basically like spring trap. But yeah, guys, um, I have a Discord server as well. Feel free to join that. Link is in the description. And there you can just talk to me. So just more horror games for you to play. And yeah, let's just get into it, man. This is the end. All right, guys. Night three. Um. All right, Wednesday, surprise me. Shit. It's getting cold in here. All right, if I remember last time, um, oh, we got a phone call. I gotta shut up. Well, hello there, Ashi. How's everything going? I assume everything's running like clockwork. It's your third night here. Phew. Um, well, everything's pretty boring during the day. Like I said, we don't have anything special scheduled for this week. There's no birthdays, no holidays, and uh, there's barely any clients. As of today, the only clients we had were a family and a couple. Yeah, you can't imagine how bored I am here. But hey, lucky you, you have the whole location just for you all night. Kids must envy you. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, maybe you, uh, maybe you can just leave your office for a while and, uh, play in the arcade zone for a few minutes. <laughs> you really are lucky to be the manager's daughter. Well, whatever. This morning I checked some old footage from the cameras. Michael showed me so I could tell you a few things. Hey, I'm really glad that boy is trying to help you. I didn't want to believe things were that bad for him, but if he's really that worried about you, then I must say I was wrong. But it's just unexplainable, you know? I saw Lake moving from one room to another in the recordings. What Michael did to push him back was kind of curious. I could see him hiding in a dark spot, and then at one point he just stood up in the center of the room, and when Michael turned on the flashlight, Lake just ran away. I think he hates light, so if he tries to bother you, you can bother him with your mighty flashlight weapon. But be very, very wary, because he's... he's... fast, you know? Alright, Ashie, that's all I have to say. Take care. Bye. Okay, go play in the arcade. Uh, well, there it is. She says I can play a little, then breaks my piece, telling me another of these freaks moves too. Great way to lighten the mood, Mom. Yeah, go play in the arcade for a few minutes. Was that not a red flag to y'all? Is she trying to get me killed? Like, you, you, you know I gotta stay in this office to protect myself, right? Why would I risk going out for a few minutes? Just playing a damn arcade. If I were ever playing an arcade, it, it sure as hell ain't gonna be here. Okay, yeah, the, the, the guy with the blue, he's supposed to move this around. He's like Foxy. They say he moves fast, so I assume that he moves like Foxy. Or something. Alright, let's keep that thing playing. So I assume I either flash them on the cameras or I flash them in the middle or the vents moving. I don't need to worry about the vent for right now, I don't think. Check on stage, everything's fine. Is he still in that room? Surprisingly, all right. Save the amount of pills that I have. Come on, TC, have fun. You got this.
Oh, you, you're, you're sneaky, huh? It's okay. Dude, the gun, the blue, it's right there. He's right there. He's still, he's still trying to attack me. Where is he? Hello? Can he fall for the mic too? Oh, he's moving! He's moving! Oh. Where is he? I'm wasting so much flashlight battery. I don't care. I gotta see where he is. Right? Do I gotta follow him on the cams? He seemed to move when I saw him with the... Okay, yeah. Hold on, hold on with the. Okay. He always goes at the same. He has to go there before he attacks me, anyway. So just keep an eye on that one, and I'll be good. Yes, yeah, keep an eye on this middle one, and we're good. Looks like I don't have to look at anything else. dawn better rest up for a bit hmm. saw this i'll tell you years ago many more children were teleported or reported disappeared but it was only a matter of hours or days until the authorities found them most of the time they were found alive fortunately but not in conditions i would like to describe to you oh two years ago the federals captured a group of criminals that would kidnap children Never heard what was the reason, to be honest. Pretty lemon table thing. I tried to tie both cases, speculating that this same group of people kidnapped the three children while they were out at night. That sounds intriguing, intriguing, but creepy. However, I was told by some people at the park that those three children had gone to Lake's Funland earlier that day. One of them even mentioned that a family member of one of the kids 
saw him interacting with someone or something hiding inside of a room. Okay, here's the thing though. Like I've pre, I, I'm thinking about the animatronics currently, and I know what all of them do now, except for that chica looking one. So I assume that she works like the other two animals though, because I just gotta like press a light down for them, or maybe they, maybe one of them appears at the end of the in the middle hallway, because for I, I, I can flash the middle hallway for a reason. And it's not for them, actually. Just like I'm supposed to prevent them from killing me by going to the the cameras, you know. And the and for and the one in the middle, I just gotta like shut everything down, cause like the animals they they teleport in front of the table, so it doesn't they don't even appear in that middle hallway. So I assume that the chica one has to be for that. Like wait for her to appear in the middle hallway and then flash her, I guess, because like it seems pointless because you don't see any animatronics down that middle hallway. Did this group you're talking about often lure their victims into traps or something? Not really. They would operate in the streets only, as far as I know. They just drove by in huge vans and picked their victims. However, you just said they were at Lakes Funland that day. I don't know. You, but I've been told it's a place that predators often target, you know. I never liked that place. Yikes. Those ugly characters give me the chills and the owner. When I worked with the police, we received some reports that he was into shady stuff. He was? Hey, that's a big hint. Maybe he's got something to do. Think about it. Whoever talked with Martin that day was hiding in an inaccessible area. If the children were persuaded to go back there that night when it was closed, it means only someone with access to the location at any time could have done done them something. All right. Or they could have been kidnapped on their way to the restaurant, perhaps. Maybe, yeah. Wait, if I remember correctly, Martin and their father had that same suspicion. Do you know if he ever reported the restaurant? Do you think we should have a conversation with Mr. Magwood? My mother is a manager. We can do something. And I wouldn't waste my time. Neither his. Even if he was a suspect, we would like to get him in trouble and he'd tell us nothing. Anyways, I don't think he could be responsible at all. Sure, he was into shady stuff, but I assume if it had more to do with money laundering or something like that. Although no one could ever prove anything. He's just a greedy man, and I can't imagine him taking the time to kidnap three children for whatever reason in the middle of the night. When he could be sleeping on his bed made out of gold or counting his cash unless he's into weird cultist crap. Trust me, I've heard of people like that. Huh? Okay, but we have another clue, I guess. Wait, Lorraine Wilson? She was murdered at the back alley of the Funland. Wait, so you think that place is the answer? I mean, the title of the game has Funland in it. I would assume so. Oh, it's like the purple guy, huh? Oh, I'm the animatronic? Am I gonna kill this dude? Protect her? Thursday. The more I concentrate myself, the faster I'll get through this bullshit. Let's hear what mom has to say. Talk about Chica. Cause like, like I said, middle hallway, nothing. No one ever comes through there. They always teleport in front of the hello, desk. Hello. Uh, hey, Ashley, you're doing great there. Night four. Um, look, uh, I, I've been thinking a lot about what Michael has shown me and... Uh, the things you've told me too. And so, I'm checking old recordings right now. There's one that got my attention. You know Chick the bird, right? Well, I've, uh, spotted her inside the ventilations in some of these old recordings. I honestly have no idea of how on earth she could get there, or how she could even leave the stage. As far as I'm aware of, that should be impossible. But hey, the audio player should have some effect on her, I believe. Her vision isn't functional at all. Must have been the... Must have been the incident from four years ago. She left the location, and we found her in the back alley in the middle of a snowstorm. Um, well, well I assume the snow damaged some of her circuits, and, uh... It's been impossible for the engineers to get her fixed. No one knows why. You, you may remember that incident I'm talking about. It was on the newspaper. Uh, 
By the way, that reminded me. Um, I don't want to sound nosy. I mean it, and I'm really sorry if I do. You left some of your notebooks on the table a couple of days ago. I, I picked them up to put them in your drawer, but, uh, I noticed your notes. You know, that investigation you're doing for school about the missing children and their possible connection to Lorraine's assassination. I, I, I mean, you're doing great. It's just, it's just that I don't think you'll get anywhere with it. Like, it's been about four years since that, and there's barely any information on the case. Whoever you ask will probably lead you to simple rumors. There's a bunch of them out there. I don't know, I'd suggest you find another case. There's plenty of interesting cases you can work on. What about the robberies at the Red Path Museum? That sounds interesting enough. I'm sure you'll get a high grade. <sighs> Listen, I just... I... I just think it may not be safe to do an investigation on such a serious case. At least if you're not a professional certified detective, but you do what you think is best. Alright, that's all I had to say. Take care and good night. Well, that was weird. Why would she be so nervous? I mean, I know I'm not working on the least serious case, but that was interesting. Yeah, thank Should you. Should be that... Darren's suspicions about Mr. Magwood are... No. No, no. I'm just imagining stuff. Are you done? Okay, yeah. I was about to say the Chica one. Yeah, so I have to look through the vents now. Before I didn't have to with the other two, but now I actually do have to look through the vents. Because since her vision's broken, she can technically kill me no matter what. So it's like this light thing does not affect her. It's not going to make a difference. Oh my god, I hate this game. I think I'm gonna die. There's just so many events to look for. It's like the chicken one. There's just so many events to look for. It's like, I don't know. Aren't you tired of the games yet, Waters? I don't even know what you just said. Shut up. I always check this place to keep the other two at bay. The girl in the vent. I realized that um, when I toggle it, it goes back to the same exact place. So the chicken one isn't as hard as, as I'm making it out to be. I can just switch it from time to time and just it'll automatically go back to the same vent cam I was at before. So if she's at a certain vent cam, I can just keep her at that same one before she gets too close to me.
I technically don't have to even give out the camera until he appears and I hear him. So focused on my life in a while. Doubt that doesn't end. Oh my god, I'm a beast! Man, that was only like All right, night. another shift done. Why am I night still four though? Here? That's only night four. I'm definitely down a lot on night five. It's like three more still.
Sean, that sounds useful. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, trying to use so much water or it'll get soggy or you could skip the whole water bath thing if you don't trust your calculations, but you'll get cracks on the pie. You know that I remember that anyways. Why don't you tell me more about your friend? What friend? Harlan, the boy you talked about last week. What's been of him? Oh, Harlan, well, to be honest, I haven't heard of him in over four years now. My mother has visited his father and everything, but she really hasn't given me any news about him. Although, whatever he's up to, I just hope he's doing fine. Hmm. Oh, this is dark. I tried everything, and nothing seems to work out. Maybe my happy place isn't anywhere in this world. Oh, shit. Can I just leave? It won't let me go back. I can't actually go out towards the door. Ah, oh, shit. Where am I? I did it. Am I dead? It's so cold in here. Why can't I see anything? Oh, God. What did I do? Do not be afraid, my child. Harlan, hello? Hello, Harlan. It pleases me to see you, kid. You have no idea how much I've been waiting for you to come. You weird ass. Waiting on this kid. Who are you? What am What am I? Well, you see, I am obscure beyond being. I'm an obscure being that rises from the depths of darkness and disgrace. I feed on the needs and desires of the unfortunate and the malicious. I will always provide, and I will always fulfill, with the, with the one condition of always getting a fair retrievement. What do you want from me? What did I do wrong to be here? You must not fear, my child. I do not want anything from you. I am here to offer you something myself. And at the same time, I retrieve a part of an incomplete exchange your grandfather and I did. Oh, that old... Yeah. Grandpa? Yes, your granddad. He asked me for something long ago, and I complied by my part of the deal. Yeah, he wanted... Was it the same guy in the beginning who wanted the money? Well, no, it wasn't his grandfather, though. It had to be his dad. His dad was the one who made the deal. You know, it, it didn't say anything about a grandson. It said his, like, his own son. So I don't think that's the same guy in the beginning. What did he ask for? Doesn't matter. Oh, young Harrion, I know you've suffered a lot. Your whole life was a disastrous Calvary. Such a lonely boy. So desperate. So depressed. So abandoned. And I believe it is time that I compensate you after all that universe has put you through. A family, yes, that is what you missed. Your sister gone, your mother dead, your father consumed by his depression and his alcoholism. I will give you that which you always ask for, one big happy family. I've got a few abandoned little souls under my wing. They're all a family now. They're together, and I can tell you, you'll be very happy with them. They need one more. What do you say, champ? A family? But I have nothing to give you in exchange. And I'm asking you for nothing. You are my prize, Harlan. Okay, you are the retrievement. We can do so many things together. I can rebuild you, put you back together, give you new life, everything. I can make you strong. You can be loved if you take this. Strong, loved, let it be then. Oh, you'll be as loved as you always wanted to be during the days. And as feared as you would have wanted to be during the nights. I will give you a new body, bigger and stronger. I promise you. Oh, this is like the symbiote shit from Spider-Man. That's the vibe I'm getting. I promise you, you will never feel pain ever again. You will never feel anything again. Oh, this is crazy. Is that how they turn him to an animatronic? Harlan, is that you? Ashley, excited for your first week to end? I was thinking of, you know, taking you to IHOP when you finish your last shift, or any restaurant you'd like to go to. I like IHOP, um, yeah. Ashley, look, I'm really sorry for all the inconvenience and the troubles I've put you through. And if you don't want to return next week, I can totally understand that. I'm so sorry, honey. Mm. I promise you I'll compensate you, okay? Oh, gotta go now. Take care. Love you. So there's nothing new. Mom, how could I get mad at her? But I think it's better if I don't come back next Monday. Yeah, so nothing's new. They're just more aggressive now. I don't like that. I nearly died. Like, I won by a landslide. I won off of just pure luck. Let's be honest. Oh, she's out fast.
need to slow down and be patient and start spamming the light. I need to calm down. I don't have to leave the camera to one of them, like, yeah, I later on to leave the camera. I actually don't have to. Control. Oh my goodness. 
I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> huh? Mom hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> Me too. I'm out. Six and seven. Another another time. Right. That'd be the finale. What the hell is wrong with them? I've done everything for them, and this is what I get in return: threatened, accused, targeted. The, those fucking cunts won't lay a single finger on me or my family. Honestly, I, I could be night six and seven. Honestly, I'm I'm debating going. It. It's only two more nights. Maybe I can. Time's running out, and I have no options. It's either leaving and losing everything, or getting a bullet in the head. Unless uh, I have any other choice. Come on, come on, show yourself. I need you in here. You've got my animatronic's body. I know you can hear me. Just show yourself, please. My animatronic's body. You've got my animatronic's body. Michael, a long time no see. Let me guess, you brought me to take you out of trouble one more time, didn't you? Well, I see you just never give up. I assume responsibility and consequences don't ring a bell in your vocabulary. Am I right? Tell me, what's the problem now? Listen to me, that last deal we made wasn't to no avail. Sure, the police turned their backs and I didn't serve time in jail. But now the rest of them are coming after me. They targeted me, my family, my business. Our business, you mean? Whatever, I'm running the risk of losing more than what I've lost already. This time we're talking about my life. This whole empire goes to ruins if I get killed. Because of you, my granddaughter and my daughter-in-law are dead. My son is a mess and my grandson's life went all to shit. So now I'm asking you to at least help me and save what's left of my family and my business. I would be careful with the way you talk to me if I was you. But fine, I will help you. Just see how far you're willing to go just to keep yourself exempt. I will make sure all your enemies are out of your way, and I will keep your family safe with one condition. What is it now? You see, I spent a couple of years inside your little toy, observing how you and your servants run that mess of a restaurant, and I've learned quite a few things about entrepreneurship. Let's just say I'm starting my own project, but I can't do it all on my own. I need some assistance, so I re require, I require the souls, the blood, and the lives of five children. Yeah, I, at least I was kind of right, you know, that he is responsible for them being possessed. So, but the five children are probably ones that we don't know. You know, or it could still be one of the ones that ended up missing. He could have been responsible for killing them. He's the guy in the black suit. He's the one that's been killing the children for him. He killed five children for him, as a matter of fact. And so that way he could put them inside the animatronics and have the animatronics possessed. That's exactly what it is, like the missing report that we talked about when we first met the other detective. Yeah. I think I, I think I, I think I kind of got it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh. Oh, that's about it. You got to be fucking killing me. What? You really want me to kill now, children? Oh, Magwood, come on. You've done so many questionable things. You've committed crimes your whole life without me commanding you to do everything. I know very well deep down you don't care about taking someone's life as long as you are safe. As long as you don't lose a single penny, so please just tell if you accept or decline. Remember, either way, I'm already delivering more impunity to you. You choose. You give me what I want and get away with your crimes again, or you lose absolutely everything. You know, you count on me. Yeah, I knew it. So he's the guy in the black suit who killed the five kids, and then those kids possessed the animatronics. Yep. Got it. Oh, let's go. I love this story, bro. Mm. Ah. Night six. After this is one more. All right, you can do the sashi. It's your final night here, and you're doing this for the check and for mom. Is this the final if only night? I knew where she's been all day, though. And there a seventh one. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, hello. Of uh, Ashley Waters, right? Of uh, hey, I'm I'm Mike, Mike Schmidt, the day shift guard. Uh, 
I, I saw you leave the place by yourself in the morning, and I've seen Rachel usually pick you up and take you back to your place and then come back here. But um, I haven't seen her the entire day, and I, I'm i assuming she didn't pick you up either. I'm I'm really worried. I, I tried calling her and everything, but I got no answer. So, uh, please give me a call if you know anything about her, okay? I wrote down my phone number on a piece of paper. Should be in one of the desk drawers. Alright, that's all I wanted to tell you. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Good night, Ashley. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. What? Michael hasn't seen her either? She's never missed a day at work, and... Dad hasn't heard a single thing about her all day either. Christ. Yep, Mike Smith. Hans Freddy's one. He's gonna take I'm probably like we're gonna die and he's gonna take our place, right? Or maybe we leave. Oh what thing I, I noticed though the Huh. I should focus. Yeah, just focus.
Oh damn it, I'm screwed. I ran out of pills. I gotta work on my reaction time. I'm going way too slow. I was kept wiggling, I couldn't even get to the light in time. <sighs> Ashley, Ashley. Oh, wait, so you know my name, huh? But finale. I still can't believe there's an actual finale, bro. Like, what the heck? Why is there a finale, man? Alright, you can do this, Ashley. It's your final night here, and you're doing this for the check. And for mom. Ain't your, ain't the final Finally, night, miss. I'd be a spoiler alert, but ain't the final night. She always goes to that. She could go to this one. The other guy goes to that one. So it always starts there. Obviously now.
Oh my goodness, I'm a boss. I clutched up in the beginning, but you got real close. Great. <sighs> well, it was nice while it lasted. See you never. I'm out of here. It's a nice seven. It ain't over. I can't believe I did that. Neutral ending? So the seventh night is like a secret ending or something? So it's not, so it's optional. So I don't have to do it. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm me. I'm gonna just leave now. I hey, forget the seventh night. Hell no. Nah. That was too stressful. Neutral enemy. Thanks for nothing. But we don't. Huh. We need you so that we can leave. Y'all need me. No, please. No. I ain't helping y'all. Wait. I already did night six, so what's going on? Why is it still locked? Alright guys, by the looks of things, this is like a secret mini game. I guess I gotta do like do these to unlock the seventh night. I have no idea how he even unlocked those though, because I couldn't. Um, Ashley, look, I'm really sorry for all the inconvenience and the troubles I've put you through. And if you don't want to return next week. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I hate it when games do this, bro. I gotta find three mini games, secret mini games, just to get the seventh night. Even though I just won already. Come on, bro. I guess we just react then. I'm too lazy. Ashley, where am I? No. I can't be dead. She didn't even attack me. And I don't want to do it anymore. Lorraine? I'm not going to chase you down, Ashley. Not anymore. I've listened to you. You know I wasn't... I don't want you to listen to me. Ashley, you... That face, I've seen you before. I know you. <clears throat> You're Lorraine Wilson, the girl killed in the back alley. Uh, what are you doing here? Where are we? It's okay, Ashley. You're just in the trance. Everything's okay. And why are you here? Because I'm one of them. Because I'm trapped like them. Exactly. Yeah, we, we figured. That's exactly what he was doing. Them? Yes, they are here, Ashley. They've been here the whole time. Martin, Joshua, Wendy. Yeah. The answer to your case is right here. What? So I... Yes, you were right. They fell into a trap. Someone fooled them that morning. They came here at night. And then they were killed. But I'm not here to talk about what happened. I'm really sorry for what Rachel had to put you through. And I'm really sorry you have to hear this. But we're running out of time. Perhaps some things are best left forgotten for an instance. Or maybe... Forever, but you wanted the truth, and I'm sorry you had to end like this, Ashley. I mean it. Don't tell me Ashley's gonna die, man. What are you talking about? The person who brought us here, the person who took our lives, was your mother, Ash. What? What? Are you wait, huh? No, no, I don't know where. What you think I'll get from this? I don't know if that's true, but you're lying. Yeah, you're not serious. Did we not see the just? Ashley, please listen to me. It was your mother, Rachel, did this to us. No. No. My mother is not a murderer. You understand this? That she is not a murderer. Ashley, I know it's tough. It's okay. But I'm telling you the truth. It took me time to realize, to understand that this is why she brought us, why she brought you here. Didn't she want her to quit? I don't know. Something is wrong with us. Something dark controls us, and we can't fight it. Or at least they can't. I know that Rachel didn't mean to do any of this. I learned how that she's lived regretting what she did. And all she's wanted to do ever since is to set us free. And find a way out for us. But she was scared. She thought we wouldn't listen. She thought we wouldn't risk accept her help. But I can tell you. They will forgive her if you do what is right. And I hope you can forgive her. Too. She made a deal with the dude, right? And I guess 
Your mother loves you, Ashley. She really does. And while I still don't feel like forgiving her at all, I know she has the best intentions. I understand now that by doing the terrible things she did to me, to them, she was protecting you. She protected you from the man who forced her to do this. Okay. She was, uh, her being forced to do this makes more sense. We all need you to come back more time and put an end to all of this. It's what your mother wanted, Ashley. It's time for all of us to set ourselves free from our petty strings because we will never find rest as long as we're attached to them. We love you, Ashley. Your mother loves you. And life has brought us all together again for the last time. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't do the final night. But I assume the final night is literally no different from night six. Unless there's a new animatronic. The golden one. Nah, it's literally just the same thing, guys. So I guess we're gonna have to do it. Yeah, it is right to the ending. No, 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 no. It, it, it was mom? My mom and all these years and it was her? No, no, this, this can't be. Yeah, guys, I was totally wrong, I guess, about... I mean, we saw him, though. You know, Mr. Magwood, he's the one who made the deal, and he's the one who killed the five children, and they possessed the animatronics, so... We saw that, so why did they think that it was her mom? Unless she made, like, a separate deal off-screen that we have no idea about. To also kill one of the kids, I guess. Like, maybe, what did I miss? Was it in the secret mini games that I didn't do? It doesn't seem like it. It just seems like, just, it doesn't seem like any dialogue happens during those. Okay, all of the secret mini games have this little figure. That's a, that's the girl that killed me in, in the um the first video. Is she the one that forced Ashley's mom to do this? Maybe. She's always just sitting there watching, and this is Ashley, right? Or it could represent her mom, maybe, because she's visiting. This is weird. So is the answer was in the secret mini games, and I had no idea how to activate those. Okay, yeah, this makes more sense. So she was forced to do it by. Yeah, you must not cry anymore, my child. You don't have to be alone anymore. I take my hand and come along with me. Yeah, that, that has to represent Ashley's mom. So, all right, now we, that makes more sense now. Actually, I did it. I really did it. It must have worked out. Lorraine, you did everything. It's over now. Lorraine, what happened? You did good, Ashley. Just let everything turn to ashes now. You can rest. We just wanted to thank you and say goodbye. You can rest now. We're safe. We're free. And so are you. I forgive her. I forgive her too. It's our forgiven. Never forget how much she's loved you, Ashley. Never. And I forgive her. Yo, nice. Harlan? Why? Why did you do it? Harlan, why are you here? What happened to you? We could have had everything. We could have been safe here, Ashley. Don't you see? We could have been a family again. I don't understand. I wanted you back. I wanted Rachel back. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be again. But you had to burn it all down. Why, Ashley? Why? I wanted you to be one of us. Don't you get it? No pain, no worries, nothing bad happens here. 
Arlen, I'm sorry. But this isn't the way it should be. You are not under control, Harlan. I can see it. You have to fight whatever it is. Why would I? Everything was perfect. I had everything. I felt happier than this way, more than I ever did when I was alive. And now it's all gone again. No, Harlan, you're wrong. You forgot. You still have a family waiting for you on the other side. Your mom, your sister. Your true family. Mom, Vanessa. I forgot about them. How could I? They're still waiting for you, Harlan. But you're still attached to your strings. How will you keep fighting, crying over here? Or will you take your rest and be with the ones you loved? You're right. You're right, Ashley. Oh no, but... All the things I did, the people I tried to attack... I, I tried to kill you. I know you didn't mean to do it, Harlan. I know you, you're my best friend. You're my best friend too. Yo, this is this is really nice. Definitely like one of the best Final Fantasy games I've played. This is for the story alone. Goodbye, Harlan. Goodbye, Ashley. Yo, good job to the dev, man. Ten out of ten, man. Montreal Elementary. Music is kind of creeping me out. Is that that's Ashley's mom, right? In Magwood. So were they kind of they were working together in Magwood. Oh, what the hell! Okay, so Ashley's mom was manipulated by Magwood. So maybe Magwood physically did the killings, I think. And then Ashley, I guess she was the one who helped lure them. Is that what happened? Ashley, maybe, Ashley's mom helped lure them, and then Magwood physically did the killings? Because it really confused me, because we saw him. You know, he's He made the deal with the devil, quote-unquote, I just call him that. And he agreed to kill the five kids, so he had physically done the killings. And maybe had a partner to help lure them, and that could have been Ashley's mom. Which is why they also blamed her. Because maybe they they never really saw the dude. Because he, he wore a mask, so they, I guess they couldn't really tell who did the, physically did the stabbings. But they didn't recognize Ashley's mom, and that's why they only singled her out, it seems. I don't know, but uh, someone can help me in the comment section about maybe I'm getting something misunderstood. Help me out. But the monster, though, that's behind all of this. Um, whatever, What's going to happen to him? Does he ever, like, get killed or something, maybe? Who knows? Like, is he just gone? I guess he maybe he died when everything got burned. Well, yeah, guys, all I play is horror games on this channel. If you like horror games, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can notify the next video. Uh, join my Discord server so you can talk to me. So just more horror games for me to play. Yo, peace out.